In the last few years, land rollers have proven to be a valuable tool on many North American farms. It started with pea and lentil growers who found that they could harvest all their crop and do it faster on smooth fields. Pushing rocks and lumps even with the surface will let them cut lower and faster without worrying about combine damage. This also gave them a quality sample with very little dirt or foreign material. About the same time as pulse growers started using rollers, hay growers were trying to eliminate rock damage to their machines as well. Using the roller in the spring let them punch rocks down and protect cutter bars as well as baler knives and belts. Smooth hay fields are easier on men and equipment. When you have a small window to make hay right, eliminating downtime for repairs can pay back big time in better quality hay. Uh, when we're just rolling uh, behind the air drill, we probably go upwards of eight mile an hour. Yeah, it moves right along. Soybean growers soon figured out that if fields were smooth, they could run the header low enough to get all the low pods and still not mix soil in their sample. A clean sample stores better and gets the best prices at the elevator. Rollers do a great job of breaking down corn root balls. With the newer BT varieties, this is a major benefit, as the work formerly done by insects doesn't happen nearly as quick. They're often still solid when you're trying to harvest the next crop a year later. BT stumps can do a number on tires, as well as messing up planters seeding the next crop. You can't harvest beans through last year's root balls. These gems can be as bad a problem as rocks, and there are a lot more of them to beat up your combine. If you roll a cornfield after harvest, the stalks are all lined up the same way. Running at 90 degrees lets your tillage coulters chop them up, rather than leaving some of them untouched. This also works behind stripper headers. No wonder the corn belt is now the largest market for land rollers. Rolling after planting firms the soil enough to bring moisture up to the seed and promotes uniform germination. Some soybean growers have reported an extra two to five bushels of cleaner beans in the bin on rolled fields, partly because of better emergence and partly for less harvest loss when they can safely cut lower and quicker. Small seeded crops like alfalfa show super germination and the firm fields are easy to harvest even on first year stands. If it's a late year, canola growers find that spreading seed with a mounted air system and rolling it in gives quick germination with minimal tillage, particularly on lighter soils. Some wheat growers are now rolling their crop as well. The more uniform emergence improves grades and the smooth stone-free surface really helps harvesting if the crop lodges. Smooth rolled fields also improve spraying operations. Reduced boom bounce improves boom durability gives better application, and smooth fields let the operator run quicker with less fatigue. Erosion control is a less obvious benefit. Smoothing your wheel tracks and seating grooves leaves no obvious channel for water to start a wash. The trash remains on the surface and reduces both wind and water erosion. Compaction is not a problem. Ag Shield's large diameter rolls compact less than smaller ones. The actual ground pressure at about four pounds per square inch is less than most footprints. Take a walk in a field that has been rolled and check it out. The reason rollers push down rocks and break up lumps is when you run over one of these, the obstacle has to lift the total weight of that section of the machine. The old whatever sticks up gets beat down idea. Of course, you won't want to run in wet conditions as this can form a hard crust on some soils. These machines are built from the floating hitch, which locks hydraulically for transport, to the properly gusseted frames. You can see the difference. The high tensile two and a half inch replaceable roller shafts run in series 213 bearings in ductile flanges. This is the next size up for most of the other machines on the market for better durability. With no heat damage zone from welding, our shafts are actually stronger than a three inch welded in shaft. If a shaft does get damaged, you can replace it in the field with hand tools in a couple of hours and still have a perfectly true drum. This is a lot different than the one or two days spent trying to properly replace a welded shaft in the middle of a field. Ag Shield rolls are 42 inch diameter tubing. Standard wall thickness is 9 16 nominal with 5 8 available as a factory option. The larger 42 inch diameter rolls do a better rolling job than 36 or 24 inch diameter ones. 
This is partly because they weigh about 100 pounds per foot more. I said we're used to lighter rollers, so it packs them much nicer. You know, with a nice heavy, heavy deep steel and the big, the big diameter rollers, I guess. What's the thing you like most about the land roller? Yeah, just, uh, well, I like the weight of it, the fact that it's uh, trouble-free. And partly because they roll over large obstacles easier. Transport's easy and folds out quickly and, and away we go. So. Opening to field position is a breeze. With the standard easy fold hydraulics, the end wheels pivot 25 degrees. You only have to back up about the length of the rig and the roller is in field position. No more looking for the perfect place to spread the wings. Pick it up and pull back and when you're ready you move the wheels. It doesn't matter where you farm. Burrowing animals make mounds in your fields, especially hay and permanent pastures. Millions of acres of plains pastures and hay fields have severely reduced productivity from animal mounds. They may be small pocket gopher mounds, or referred to as molehills, yellow gopher mounds, and badger or foxholes. Either way, they make a mess of your haying equipment. Replacing guards and sections or disc knives is a waste of money. One way to avoid the problem is to cut higher and settle for lower yields. A disc mower does a bit better, but you can still end up with a fair bit of dirt in the hay, raising the ash content. Quality hay with higher ash content is worth less. Don't settle for second best. The answer, of course, is to get rid of the mounds. In the past, the only option has been working up the field and reseeding, and we all know what that costs. Current molehill removers don't work well, even on one-year-old sodded mounds. Most of them roll rocks out and they leave loose dirt, which still interferes with haying. They also flip up stones, which have to be picked. AgShield's patented leveling blade option will get your fields in shape in one pass. Before we had the Ag Shield machine, we, uh, we rented a molehill drag machine and a roller and made two passes. Now uh, we can do it all with one pass with one machine, so we've saved an operation. The blades have small rollers on 18 inch centers. When pushing dirt, the compression springs in the carrier arm shorten to allow these rollers to ride against the main drum. Using the strength of the large roller means the leveling blade can be light enough to slide up and over large buried rock tips without machine damage. The blades are adjusted hydraulically to spread large mounds quicker or to stay right up when you only want to firm the field, after seating for example. The adjustable gauge wheels control blade height from 3 quarters of an inch, which leaves alfalfa crowns intact, to 2 and a half for working in soft or fluffy conditions like plowed fields. Some growers have found that the levelers are a great way to get CRP ground back in production. A glyphosate application in the fall will have you ready to level in the spring. In some cases, a controlled burn can ease the smoothing operation. We can't make these mounds into molehills, but we can sure turn molehills into flat fields. If you want to hook a land roller directly behind your air seeder, the optional patented power fold wheel is exactly what you need. The hydraulically driven wheels take the machine to field position with no backing up or tricky driving ahead. Only two hydraulic circuits are used and no electrical connections are needed. Just hit the lever and you're ready to de-rock and roll. Save time, fuel and labor while you make sure your seed bed is firmed up on time. This option can be ordered factory installed or retrofitted later. All three and five section Ag Shield rollers are shipped power fold ready as manufactured. If you're trying to punch down rocks in old pasture or hay fields, watertight drums are a useful factory option. When they are completely filled, an additional 550 pounds per foot, make sure the junk is sunk. With optional equipment, some models can be transported loaded. Transporting full is not always possible, so there are three banjo fittings installed a 2 inch vent and a 2 and 3 inch for fill and drain. Scrapers are also available if required. A light kit for safer transport and a direct reading digital acre meter can be ordered for shared and rental units. Ag Shield has a complete line of land rollers to meet the needs of most operators. For smaller fields and occasional use, the single fixed drum unit is a low cost way to smooth your field operations. It is available in sizes from 11 to 20 feet. 
If the 18-foot transport width of a 17-foot unit doesn't fit your roads comfortably, the 20-foot hydraulic pivot unit transports under 8.5 feet wide. My unit is a 20-foot unit. It has a, an integrated transport system. It seems to be quite well designed from the aspect that it will fold in nicely behind. It distributes the weight nicely too so that I can tow it behind my three-quarter ton truck. This unit is also available as the pasture doctor, which includes an air delivery system to place seeds behind the leveling blade so they get packed into the fresh surface for greater germination. This is the perfect tool for upgrading pasture productivity by adding legumes, a bloat-free sainfoin or alfalfa, for example. Older grass stands also benefit from adding grass seed to keep plant populations up and to fill in the bare areas left when larger mounds are leveled and spread. This combination works well for seeding cover crops on organic farms. With the optional clamp-on bars, you can use the same machine to beat down the cover crop before seeding. If you need a larger machine, check out our three plex units. Available in sizes from 30 to 52 feet, these rigs fit medium-sized operations, with the 46-foot outfit being particularly popular in rental fleets. AgShield three-section rollers transport only 12 and a half feet wide. Finally, a unit that lets you stay on your side of the road. The wing locking function is done with a diagonal pulling link that reaches the outer end of the wings. The pull point is in line with the bearing to reduce frame twisting. This eliminates the failures that you see on units with latches on the inner corners. Hydraulics lift the links to vertical to keep transport width narrow. Ag shield rollers don't try to run forward on hills and can be backed up in field position. As an added bonus, leveling blades are available on all one and three section models. For larger operations, our five plex is the answer. Sizes to 70 feet get the job done quickly. With a patent pending transport system that uses a flat face transport tires to firm the gap between the wing sections, a narrow 13 and a half foot transport width is achieved. The diagonal pulling bars ensure machine durability. In transport, the inner wing wheels are locked and the outer wheels caster. This layout gives a much smaller turning radius that gets you into tight areas like narrow approaches. A 70 foot machine handles tight turns like a 40 foot unit. Excellent flexibility lets the units follow the ground over terraces and other tough terrain. If you're looking for a roller for your operation, you owe it to yourself to check out Ag Shield Land Rollers. Their products surpass most on the market and at a price that is very competitive with lesser units. The power fold for five section units has finished accelerated winter testing and is now shipping. This design keeps transport narrow and fast. It's available on machines from 46 to 70 feet. You can easily open the machine to field position with no driving. This is perfect for hooking behind your seater to be on time and save a pass. Check it out today. You can listen to current owners, ask your dealer, or check the website for the full story on Ag Shield Land Rollers. Would you recommend it to your neighbors? Yes, we, we would recommend it to uh, anyone. We've had some neighbors looking at the roller and... Would you recommend so, the Land Roller to other neighbors? Oh, for sure. And I, and I have. <laughs>